Many people are worried about food shortages, especially meat, with the announcement that Smithfield is closing due to COVID-19. Well, if you research the meat industry and you realize that Smithfield only processes less than 5% of all the pork in the United States, it's not such a big hit. It is for some processed porks that Smithfield produces, and those are foods that aren't even healthy and you shouldn't be eating anyway. Ultra processed, chopped up sausages and stuff, stuff that you wouldn't want to feed your family if you knew actually what was happening. Now, if we come look at here at what is occurring here, here is the total meat processed in the U.S. This salmon colored wedge here is pogs, and only 5% of this is infected, so you wouldn't even be able to see the line. So that leaves 99% of the rest of the meat available for consumption. The problem is that these farmers can't get it to market. And then we have a bigger problem that people like Christian Westbrook do this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any intention of eating meat from the grocery store over the next year or so, I highly recommend that you go ahead and buy it now and stock up that freezer because it's not looking good for the world's protein meat supply right now. This from Smithfield in the US, which is owned by China, it's going to be devastating. One of the country's largest pork processing facilities is closing and that is indefinitely. It's, it's going to be devastating. We're going to lose less than 5% of the processed pork that kills humans. Oh, it's so devastating, Christian. I'm so glad I unsubscribed to your channel. <laughs> and there it is. What you have to look forward to, misinformation on YouTube and the internet and the mainstream. But the mainstream is actually doing well-balanced interviews on this because losing 5% of the production of pork in South Dakota is not going to affect the United States as a whole. Maybe you won't be able to get your Jimmy Dean sausages, but you shouldn't be eating those anyway. You should be locally sourcing your food. There are hundreds of farmers now, thousands of farmers that have no one to sell their products to. There are farmers giving away milk and produce if you know who to ask. You can also acquire local animals from local farmers that would be happy to grow them for you. You just have to buy the whole animal. That way you know where the animal's coming from, that it wasn't overly processed or fed genetically modified food. The meat that comes from this 5% that's lost is the carcinogenic meat that no one should be eating anyway. And it's a blessing. It's not a problem. People who claim anything otherwise are part of the problem. Fear mongers are getting more subscribers and more views than ever. And they're misinforming the public on what's actually happening. <laughs> the supply chain is breaking down because people are getting sick and people, things are shut down. But it's not broken. Do you know how much meat is still available? Yes, 99% of it. And it will eventually get to the markets because this pandemic is a pandemic and it didn't work out the way they wanted. Within a few weeks, there's going to be, trust me on this, new techniques to calm the fears and they won't be vaccines. We've been approaching this from the wrong front from the beginning. And scaring people to go panic by meat is the dumbest thing that has ever happened. No more meat? I'm going to put you to that, Mr. Westbrook, and your Ice Age farmer nonsense. You're not even growing any food. So please, put your money where your mouth is and start doing videos on growing food and solutions. Instead of scaring the public into panic buying meat, because there's plenty of meat. The chicken in our supermarket is down to like a dollar a pound because no one's buying it because there's 9 billion pounds of it available and everyone wants their bacon. Well, do you know what the leading cause of COVID-19 death is? People that eat bacon for a diet. Yeah. Hypertension, diabetes, and high blood pressure will kill you with this disease. So you do not need this 1% of hog meat, period. No more meat? Well, apparently Christian wants you to die from eating processed hog meat. What a fear monger and a fraud. Get the facts. Stick with the winners. And unsubscribe from people that are trying to scare you and not prepare you. Period. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors and our Patreons. 
Be safe. There's plenty of meat. Find a local source where you can watch the animals grow yourself. You could buy in bulk and save money. That is the way to the future. Not panic buying genetically modified garbage. Anyway, I digress. Be safe. We love you.